Welcome to your 15 minute body weight strength building workout. Today we're gonna work your whole body from head to toe, but we don't need any equipment at all. So this workout you can take on the road with you if you're traveling for work or if you're on vacation, or even if you're at home with the kids and need to get a quick workout in. This is Abby, this is Abigail, and I'm Jen. We're gonna take you through this workout together. Abby's gonna give you a modified version that's gonna increase the intensity, while Abigail's gonna give you a version that's gonna allow you to just take a little bit more rest. All right, so we're gonna start with a warm up, and our warm up today is going to be some air squats, and I'll show you those. We're gonna go down into a low air squat, just like this, pressing through your heels. Okay, we're gonna warm up for about two minutes. The purpose of this warm up is just to prepare your muscles for the work they're about to do. All right, ladies, let's get down nice and low. Good job, Abby. Good job, Abigail. So the intensity will increase the lower you go into that squat. So you really wanna to try to elevate your heart rate and get nice and low. Good job. All right, let's go to some high knees. Let's really get moving here. Let's, woo, bring those knees up. Nice tight core. How are you guys feeling? Good. Feel good. Excellent. All right, keep it going. All right, let's go back to those squats. Here we go. Good, feeling warm? Oh yeah. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And if you can see, Abby's going down nice and low. She's really working, getting her heart rate high. The lower you go, the more you're gonna work that backside. All right, let's do a few more. Doing okay over there, Abigail? I'm here. All right. <laughs> All right, let's get back to those high knees one more time, nice and high. Belly button to spine, everything's engaged. All right, now before we get into our workout, we're gonna do this program three rounds through. So there's eight exercises, and with each exercise, you're gonna do 12 repetitions, all right? So I'm gonna demonstrate, and then we're gonna get right to it. Our first exercise is an air squat. You're gonna sink down into those heels, really working through that backside. And if you want a little bit more, you can follow along with Abby. She's gonna do a single leg version. So she's gonna place all of her weight in that right leg, primarily in the heel. She's gonna press through the heel and squeeze through the glute to really activate that backside. Good job, you ready? Here we go. 12 repetitions, down and up, nice and low, and stand. Now Abby's gonna do six on each leg. Obviously, we're gonna do 12 total. Here we go, down and up. Push back, core tight, good job, Abby. Good, the lower you go, the more challenging it is. All right, we're almost there. Last few repetitions, ladies. We're gonna move right into our push-ups. So we're gonna come down onto the ground and I'm gonna demonstrate this first exercise for you. And this is the version that most of you are familiar with. You're gonna bring your shoulders on top of your wrists and come all the way down and press straight back up. If you'd like something a little bit more advanced, you can follow along with Abby. She's gonna bring this elevated surface over. So you can use anything in your home or the gym, a bench, a step, even a couch and elevate your feet. Place your hands directly under your shoulders and then contract those abdominals and come all the way down and press all the way straight back up. Okay, so that's your advanced version. We have a modified version that Abigail is going to demonstrate. She's gonna bring her body weight forward so her shoulders are on top of her wrists and she's gonna come straight down on her knees and straight back up for her 12 repetitions. You guys ready? Ready. Everybody got it? Here we go. All right, down and up. Nice. So remember, you're keeping your core tight the whole time. You're making sure your spine is long. So you don't want to lift your chin too high. You want a nice long spine here. Good, we've got about five more ladies. Keeping that chin slightly tucked, your core tight and your glutes engaged on everything we do. Good job. Last one and rest. Excellent, okay. You can grab a quick sip if you need it, but otherwise we're gonna get right into our next exercise, which is a step up. So we're gonna bring a step or you can use a bench or anything you have, but if you're at the gym, these work really well. There's a few different variations. You can follow along with Abby. She's gonna give you the advanced version. You can follow along with Abby, Abigail, who's gonna just do a reverse lunge, just like that, okay? So Abby, why don't you go ahead and show us the advanced version. You're gonna step onto the bench and you're gonna bring your knee straight up and then straight back down. She's gonna do six repetitions on each leg. Great job, nice form. <laughs> All right, Abigail, let's see yours. So we're gonna do a reverse lunge here. And again, she's gonna do six on each side. And as you can see, she's keeping that body weight on her heel and really pressing to engage those glutes. You ladies ready? Ready. All right, let's get moving. I'm gonna use a little smaller bench today. <laughs> All right, here we go. Left leg first, let's step up, press through the heel and come right back up. Good, press and tap. 
And you wanna make sure your knee stays forward and doesn't come back behind you. So you want your knee to stay over your toe. When you're done with your six on that side, Abby, I want you to change and go to your right leg, please. Good. And you're gonna step straight up, keeping your core tight and straight back down. Good job. Excellent work. Good. Really working that glute and hamstring area. Excellent. Nice job, ladies. Anybody need a sip of water before I do our next set? Very <laughs> good. Okay. All right, so our next one is a dip. So dips are gonna work the back of your arms or the tricep area. And so I'm gonna have Abby demonstrate a little bit more of a challenging version. She's going to place her hands on the edge of a bench or a step or even a chair at home. And you're gonna get your hips a little bit off of the bench, not too far, maybe a couple inches. Lift your chin and then come all the way down, keeping your elbows back and straight back up, okay? The modified version of this exercise, thank you, Abby, <laughs> is the floor dip. So she's gonna come all the way down and Abigail's gonna demonstrate by bringing her hands slightly behind her, elevating her hips. Good, excellent. And then look up at the ceiling for me, Abigail, good. And then your elbows are gonna come back towards the wall and you're gonna press straight up. And as you can see, her triceps are really working there. All right, <laughs> are you ladies ready to go? Ready. All right, I'm gonna show this version and I'm gonna keep the bench or the stool here, but I'm gonna keep my feet a little closer, make it a little bit easier. Ready? 12 reps, down and up. Good. So remember, elevate your chest and keep your chin up so you're no collapsing. We don't want any rolls, no rolling forward. Chest up, good. All right, we've got about six more. Down and up, excellent, good form. Great job. All right, two and done, good job. You guys good? Good. Moving right along, okay. Now we're gonna work those glutes. So we're gonna remove the steps, place them to the side, and then I'm gonna demonstrate again two variations. So I'm gonna have Abby lay flat on her, on her back with her knees bent. Good, and she's going to actually do the single leg version here. This is the more intense version. So she's gonna elevate one of her legs, making sure her heel is facing the ceiling, and she's gonna drive through that heel on the ground, pressing through her glute, really working that booty. Press, 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 good. Thanks, Abby. All right, we're gonna demonstrate here with Abigail. She's gonna do our traditional glute bridge and she's just gonna keep her shoulders down into the ground, palms are up, good. She's gonna press into her heels and lift her hips as high as possible. Excellent. All right, you ladies ready? Ready. Let's do it. Okay, so remember, keep your core tight. You wanna press straight up and come straight down. Good. This is three, we got four. Nice and high, five, good job. Excellent, keep it going, Abby, keep it going. <laughs> Halfway there, <laughs> good work, okay. Moving right along, and good work. Does anybody need a drink before we move on? Mm -hmm. Good, we got another one to show you. <laughs> All right, this is our single leg Romanian deadlift. So we're gonna show you a variation here. So it looks like this. You're gonna place all of your weight in your left leg, activating your glute through your heel. You're gonna take your opposite arm and come down and reach and straight back up. Now, the challenging part here is keeping that foot off the ground. If you want a modified version, I'm gonna have Abigail use this foam roller. And these are in every gym, but if you're at home, you can use a wall or a stool or anything that's about shoulder or hip width or hip height. So you're gonna place all of your weight in that left heel, Abigail and then you're gonna bend all the way down and come straight back up, good. And when she's coming up, she really wants to make sure she's squeezing her glute and pressing her hip forward to activate that backside. All right, we're gonna do six on each side. You ladies ready? Ready. All right, here we go. Down and up. Now, you can keep that foot elevated for that intensity like Abby, or you can just keep that foot down. That's okay too, no problem. Good, keep it going. Awesome, switch sides. And then Abigail's gonna take the foam roller to the other side for balance. Good, nice job. And again, you wanna make sure your chest comes all the way up and you really press through that heel, engaging your glute. Good job, ladies. A few more. Excellent. And rest, good. All right. Thanks, Abby. <laughs> all right, we're gonna get right into our plank with our shoulder tap. So I'll demonstrate first and then we'll get right into it with a few modifications. So your shoulders are over your wrist, your belly button is again firmly into your spine and you're gonna take your core in as tight as possible and tap. Now, the goal is not to shift. You wanna stay as stable as possible. So we're gonna go and do 12 of those. Abigail's gonna demonstrate, or I'm gonna show you with Abigail, the modified version rather. So come onto your knees, Abigail, good. And then you just wanna make sure those hips stay low, good. And then activate through your core. 
and there you go, perfect. All right, <laughs> are you ladies ready? ready? Okay, now remember, hip bones face the floor. Try not to let anything move. You can do six on each arm, 12 total. Good, nice form. And again, shoulders over wrist, belly button engaged. Chin slightly tucked, excellent. Two and one, rest, good job. You guys need a break? You doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay, our next exercise is the Superman. So this exercise is done um, on your stomach, and I'm gonna have the ladies show you also. So everyone come down under their stomach, please. And then, Abigail, I'm gonna have you just bring your hands straight out. Keep your feet on the ground for me, okay? I don't want them to move. And I just want you to reach and come right back down. Good. This is the modified version. Abby's gonna show you a little more intense version. She's gonna reach both, yep and arms, and then squeeze all the way back, Abby. Yep, reach, and everything down. Good, nice. So those are the two variations. You can pick which one's best for you. You guys ready? Let's start our 12. Here we go. All right, up, and squeeze. Now again, you want to imagine you're pinching something between your shoulder blades, engaging your core, and lifting your chest really high, keeping your chin slightly tucked. Good, you got about five more, ladies. Good, and Abigail's gonna keep her toes on the ground the whole time, activating her glutes, pushing your hip bones down. Good, one more, Abigail. Come on, good job, excellent. All right, round one. Let's grab a drink, and let's get our bodies a little bit of a rest. Now, if you want to increase the intensity, you can clearly shorten this rest period, um, or if you need a little more time, take it. Grab a little bit more of a break, it's okay. All right, here we go. You guys ready for round two? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, we're on our second set of our three rounds. So here we go, back to our air squats and our single leg. Now Abby's gonna really work this single leg this time. She's gonna give you a little bit even more of an intense exercise. All right, so first I'm gonna have Abby put all of her weight in that heel. Good, now bring that leg up just a little bit higher this time. Perfect, that's her intensified version. And we're just gonna stick to those air squats. Ready ladies? Ready. And here we go. Down and up for 12 repetitions total, six on each leg for Abby, all right? Making sure your heel is grounded and your glute is engaged the entire time. Good, nice job. Good, thanks for changing that over. No oh, cues yeah. necessary for you. <laughs> All right, we've got a few more. Down and up. Good job. All right, everyone feeling it? Feeling that backside activate? <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go right back through that whole exercise again. So, Abby, I'm gonna have you grab, there you go. Grab that bench. Got it. Okay, you girls ready? All right, shoulders over wrist. Now again, core tight. Here we go, chin slightly tucked. Good, make sure the repetitions are full and complete. You don't wanna come down halfway. You really wanna work the chest and shoulders by coming down as low as you possibly can, keeping your chin again slightly tucked to make sure that the spine stays long and neutral. Really important. How's everything going over here, Abigail? Good. <laughs> good, so you're doing really good, but I want you to come out a little bit wider on the next couple. There you go. You were doing more of a tricep push-up before. Good job. <laughs> All right, good job, ladies. Okay, our next exercise is our step up. So we'll grab our benches or our steps again. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right, and we're gonna do the reverse lunges, remember? Okay. All right, you ready, Abby? Ready. Ready, Abigail? Let's do it. Here we go. So again, press through that heel, core tight, everything engaged. And as you can see, Abby's really working a little bit harder by bringing that knee to her chest and driving through that left heel. Good. Six on each side, Abby. Excellent. Good, and Abigail is always focused on her heel. Her chest is up, her core is engaged. She's activating that backside chain through the hamstring and glute area. She's doing a great job. And again, you guys are awesome. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna get right back to the dips. So I want to point out an important thing here to remember is this program is designed to give an upper body rest and the lower body rest. So as you can see, we're alternating between an upper body exercise and a lower body exercise, which is really important. Okay, so I want you guys to come back to your dips, please. Good job. Thanks for remembering, Abigail, on the ground, good. And then chest up, core tight, down and up. Keeping those elbows squeezing back together, keeping your chin off your chest, Abby, good. And Abby can challenge herself even more here if she wants. She can bring her right leg up and off the ground. <laughs> and then she can alternate and go to that left leg if she wants, good. A few more, excellent form, and rest, good. 
Okay, we're gonna go right back to our glute bridge. Does anyone need a break first? Are we good? Okay, let's get right into it. All right, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Thanks, Abby. Good <laughs> try. <laughs> All right, everyone lay flat on their backs, please, and remember your modification. So again, the best way to remember these cues is to ensure that your heel is grounded. That's gonna be where you're targeting, right through the glute area, right through that hamstring. So as you can see, Abby's working a little bit harder by using that single leg. Good, six on each side, Abby. Good, and then Abigail's doing a great job by keeping her shoulders down, her chest elevated, and she's doing a great job keeping her knees together also, which is great, good work. <laughs> All right, a few more, excellent, good. All right, guys, we're done with those. <laughs> Moving right along, we're gonna do our next exercise. So we're gonna do the single leg Romanian deadlift again. Now, there is a modification here. If you wanna really deepen this, you can come down nice and low and try to touch that toe and stand straight back up. I'm gonna have Abby show you that one. So place all your weight on that left leg, Abby, and then reach with the opposite arm, come all the way down. Now stand up and squeeze through that heel. Good, excellent. All right, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Down and stand. And you wanna make sure all your weight is in the heel your spine is long and flat. No curvature in your spine. That's back problems waiting to happen. So make sure you put all that weight in your heel and you really keep that back flat. Good job. When you're done with your six, you're gonna change to the other side. Good. This is great for your balance also. So Abigail, I want you to really press through your hips and stand straight up. Good. And done. Excellent. Okay, moving right along. We're gonna go into our single, I'm sorry, we're gonna go into our plank with our shoulder tap. So you wanna make sure if you're trying to get a little bit bigger of a workout, you can give yourself this advancement, which is a reach and a reach. So instead of tapping, we're gonna reach and extend, still keeping our hips in line with the floor. Abby, are you ready for that one? I'm ready. <laughs> All right, Abigail, you're gonna do our modified variation just like you did last time, you did a great job. So make sure shoulders are over your wrist and then go for it, ladies, 12. One and two, good, six on each side, Abby. And really try to engage that core, keeping your hips nice and level and your belly button to your spine, good. When you're done with your 12, we're gonna take a quick break for water and then move along. This is gonna really get your heart rate up also because you're engaging your entire core. Good, nice work. Good job, Abby. All right, sip of water, ladies. We'll move right along. These Supermans are a great way to build your core strength um, through your abdominal wall, your transverse abdominus, and your low back area. So let's go and lay flat on our stomachs. Again, there's those variations. So pick which variation works best for your body. Again, I'd like you to keep your feet down, Abigail. Squeeze your glutes. Ready? And go. Good. Now you wanna straighten your knees. So an important key to remember here and a good, um, a good way to make sure you're getting the most out of this exercise is if your knee is straight and locked. That's gonna engage your hamstring and your glute, which is part of it as well. Good. And then Abigail, even though she's on the ground, her knees are slightly off the floor. She's really engaged through her, her quadriceps and she's really making sure she's working her glutes. Good, you've got two more. You can do it, good job. <laughs> One more. All right, good work. Okay, so that was round two. Can you believe it? Done already. <laughs> We've got one more round, ladies. Good. All right, sip of water and moving right along. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go, third round. <laughs> Let's do it. All right, so feet, a little bit wider than hip width apart. Core is engaged. You're gonna work that backside. Abby's gonna demonstrate, and here we go. One, nice and low. You wanna get nice and low, squeezing through your core and your backside. Good. 12 repetitions. Good job, Abby. Six on each side for Abby. And Abigail, I'm gonna have you open up those feet just a little bit wider. Give yourself a bigger base. Good. And that'll allow you to get a little bit lower in that squat and really activate through that backside. Good. Last one. Excellent. All right, moving right along. Abby's on task. <laughs> We're gonna do our push-ups now. I'm gonna set this aside for when I need them for the step-ups. And again, we all know what to do, so pick your variation. Widen your base if you need to. Contract your abs and down and up for 12. Good job. Abby, you're working hard. <laughs> this decline push-up is 
a lot more challenging than just the flat push-up. She's got a lot going on in her core. She's really got to control her body in order to stay in that nice form position. And remember, if you need a break, take it. It's all about form. So you want to make sure you're doing the exercises correctly. All right, ladies, one more. Good job. And rest. How Ooh, you doing? Good. Good. <laughs> all right, we're going to go right to the step up now. And again, as you get stronger and as you continue to do this program, you can get bigger benches, get bigger steps. Um, you can add that variation. All right, so here you go. And we go, left leg, up and down, good. Good, so one key point with Abby here too is you can always make this even harder. She can even go into a little hop if she wants to and really work through that. <laughs> if you want to, Abby, it's just an option. <laughs> Good. And Abigail's still keeping that perfect form by keeping her core tight and her chest up. And she's gonna do six on each leg. Good. Last one, Abby. Hop and hop. Good. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. You need a drink of water after that? I'm good. Okay. Working me. <laughs> All right, good. We're gonna go right back to those dips. And again, Abigail, on the ground. And again, if you want to add a little bit more, you can, but the best way to get the most engagement out of the tricep is to ensure your hips are high and you want to squeeze your elbows together, okay? All right, I'm gonna come on this bench and get a little more. Here we go, 12 reps. One, keeping your elbows back, your chin and chest up, your core engaged, and your hips close to the bench. You don't want to be way out here. That's a mistake commonly people make. So you want to make sure your hips stay close to that bench. You've got three more, ladies. Chin up. Good. One more, please. Excellent. Oh, I can feel those. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay. Right back to our glute bridge. This is one of my favorite exercises. All right, Abby, you're going to do those single legs again for us, okay? Got it. All right, Miss Abigail. This time I want you to do a little variation here. So I'm going to have her open up her knees a little bit wider. She's going to work a little bit more hamstring if she takes her feet out a little bit further. So, and then walk them toward away from your glutes just a tad. Perfect, you're gonna feel this a little bit differently. All right, we're gonna do 12, here we go. And up, good. Now again, Abigail, do you feel that difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's gonna work that hamstring muscle a little bit more than the glute. When you're done with your six on that side, Abby, trade for me right away, good. And then heels flat and squeeze, good. And as you can see, she's keeping her leg very straight and parallel and um, right in line with that hip, good. One, and done, good. How those feel? Good, it's yeah. harder. <laughs> yeah, putting your mind in the muscle and just changing it up a little bit is important. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. <laughs> All right, this is that balance exercise that also works that glute. So you're gonna go to your left leg, put all of your weight there. Lock out your hip, contract your ab. Take your right hand, bend down as far as possible, keeping your back flat and your chest up. That's one, good, and two, good job. You're gonna do six on each side. Good. Make sure you're pressing through that hip, Abigail. Make sure you're pushing all the way forward, engaging the glute. Good. How you doing? Ready to go to the other side? Yeah. <laughs> all right, opposite arm, opposite leg. And as you can see, Abby's really working through that runner's motion again, activating her core and engaging everything on that backside chain. Good. Nice. How you doing, Abigail? <laughs> all right, we're going to move right along into our plank. So the variation again, if you want that challenging version is to do that reach as Abby will show you. And then if you want that modification, stick with Abigail. All right, you ready ladies? 12 total yeah. and go. One. And remember, shoulders over wrists. You don't wanna be back here. That's another common mistake people will make. You wanna make sure your shoulders are right in line with your wrists. It's gonna give you a lot of stability in your shoulders and in your core. When you're done with your 12, let's grab a quick sip. And again, if you need longer breaks, no problem. All right, one more. Home stretch. Yes, last one. Last one, ladies. Lay flat for me. Okay, remember, the engagement comes from your glutes and low back. You wanna drop your chin slightly to elongate your spine. You wanna engage your backside, straighten your legs, bring your arms out and reach up, squeeze those shoulder blades, open up your heart and your chest and press forward. Good job. So this is gonna work that whole posterior chain of your body, which is the whole backside part of your musculature. And Abby's really engaging her knees, so she's really activating her glutes. Good job, Abigail. Make sure your knees stay flat, even if your toes are on the ground. So elevate this knee slightly off the ground. Excellent. Good, two more. 
Excellent job. Last one. Good work. <sighs> Woo. How do you feel? Great. I feel great. great. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sip of water. Mm. Now again, there's a few different modifications you can make to make this your own workout. You could add another round if you'd like to increase the intensity, or you could even shorten those rests and get right into the, each exercise, one after the other. But this is a great way to build strength and muscle endurance, tone your body from head to toe, and burn lots of calories. Remember, always cool down and stretch after every workout program, and then I'll see you again next time.